Thank you for joining us here at the USU Career Studio for Career Tip Tuesday. I'm John Folger, your host, and this month we're going to be talking about lifelong learning and how it can improve your career path journey. Today's Tuesday tip is going to be all about real-world examples of lifelong learning. Over the past few weeks, we have talked about the idea of lifelong learning. I have given you some nice buzzwords on what lifelong learning is and the importance of growth mindset, but it is lacking any practical merit. It is nice to discuss these principles in theory, but very difficult to put them in any real practice. Today, I would like to show you some examples of lifelong learning. The first example comes from Thomas Edison. He is famous for his invention of a commonly usable light bulb and the use of widespread DC current. He is also famously quoted as saying, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. One of the greatest inventors of all time that arguably changed the world through the, his inventions of easily accessible light at any time of day, as well as widespread electric power, straight up failed 10,000 times on his most famous thing. That was 10,000 fails before he got a usable thing, not the end product, mind you. He exemplified the idea that failures are not failures, but learning experiences. The next example of lifelong learning and developing over time is someone known as Colonel Sanders. This man spent the majority of his life doing some random jobs. He was a vacuum salesman. He owned a gas station for a time. He didn't start his business idea for KFC till he was in his mid to late 60s. He took all of his past experiences of sales, some business skills, skills, and all of the other successes and failures to build on one of the largest fast food companies of all time. As well, when he was just starting, he was not immediately successful. He lived in his car, sold chicken door to door. The example of this man is not his success, which he eventually was. It is that for the first 65 years, he was not where he wanted to be. And he knew that. So he worked and applied his life lessons to achieve the goals that he wanted to achieve. These are just a couple of examples of successful people that applied their lifelong learning to their career path. There are hundreds of other examples that could be used. But the bottom line is that these individuals applied their past experiences experiences worked very, very hard, and then were able to be successful. And so can you. Thank you for joining us at the USU Career Studio for Career Tip Tuesday. Please don't forget to tell your friends about this podcast and to subscribe on YouTube to get all of the newest Career Tip Tuesday episodes first. Please join us next week as we continue giving you tips to improve your career path.